I want to share this with you. Uh, A study, a recent study by Gradient Corporation indicated and indicates washed shop towels contain dangerous levels of toxic metals, oil, and grease. Some samples were taken from 26 industrial sites, including automotive shops. I am so pleased to be able to share this information with you, having been in the automotive service shop business for 40 years, the metals at toxic levels were beryllium, which causes a loss of feeling, lung and skin disease, cadmium, kidney, bone and lung cancer, cobalt, lung and heart effects, dermatitis and liver and kidney effects, copper, copper, Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, liver, kidney damage. Let me tell you about copper, folks, and how how that relates to the automotive service industry in your car. The steel brake lines on every automobile include copper. That copper migrates its way into the brake fluid. And even though the brake fluid pH, because brake fluid is hydroscopic, it absorbs moisture, even if... You had, if you, even if you lived in Nebraska, I mean, in, in Nevada, and the moisture wasn't a problem, the copper migrates into the fluid, and according to Bosch, will have an effect, an adverse effect, on the ABS solenoids. So you should change the brake fluid every two years, period. Just do it. Now, who changes it? Technicians. They get it on their hands. That's part of this. That's what's on these rags when it, come back, it comes back from the, the, the factory or the, the cleaners. The lead, severe damage, you know what lead does for you, to blood-forming, nervous, urinary, and reproductive systems and death. The data from the 2011 study was compared to a similar study done in 2003. Current results showed more types of metals in higher concentrations. You can see for yourself and I invite you to go to see this video. Don't leave yet because I want to show you these rags. At youtube.com slash Bobby Likas, L-I-K-I-S. Okay, Bill. Here's This is a, a new shop rag that came out of the bag. I'll have to move it for you, Bill. There you go. This is, uh, and, and I will tell you, it's, it's, it's appalling to smell. There's the backside. That's, a, that's just cleaned, just cleaned, right? Here's another. I want to show you this. This is a yet another rental rag that just came. We got yesterday from our route man. We borrowed these. We used to use these. We used to wipe our hands and wipe our face with these, with all those toxic metals. What did we do? We upgraded to Scott Shop Towels and the Wipeall Red brand. And that was a big deal because for years and years and years, the technicians would walk around with those rags out of, hanging out of their pocket. So how would they respond to that? Well, I'll tell you, that was a fear that I should have never even worried about because we've never had anyone to look back when we went to the, the blues, the Scott Shop Towels and the Wipeall. Now, you see the holes in this rag? It came this way. This is new. Well, it's not new. It's it's. I, I wish we had, uh, as Emerald would say, smell a vision, be, because it is. I, I can't wait to get them out of the studio, and I, I just can't wait to to share this. There's another one. That's clean, supposedly. Okay, and then here's one more that I had, and I didn't pick these. Oh, oh there's one. Ooh, I don't know what that stuff is. Can you imagine that you take this out of the clean bag? And you wipe your face with it, and all those metals go on your face. And I will throw those away. And I want to compare one of those. This is what I keep for my glasses and what have you. Just take a. I want you to take a look at the, at the two here. And and on your right, of course, is the Scott Shop Towel, the original blue by Kimberly Clark. And here. Here's a wipe all, big red. Every time you pull one out of the box, it's new, it's clean. And there, there's a video that you just have to see. I'll throw that away, Bill. Uh, there's a video that you have to see. Go to youtube.com slash Bobby Likas, and you will see this video that uh, is not only appalling, but it, it's factual, and it's about the toxic metals that uh, are in rental shop rags. And if you operate a, sh- a service shop, 
you really need to see this. And if you're a technician, don't use them. Don't use them. Any, and not only will the shop save money, the shop is cleaner. It's more organized because you don't have all those rags. You and, and the Scott shop towels and the Wipaws are uh, okay for the landfill. So there you go. Uh, Bill in Missouri, thanks for holding. Welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. And those rags, Bobby, once they're dirty, they're going back to the people who own them, and they're washing them, and that water that they use to wash them is going into the sewage system and back into the water supply. Uh, you are absolutely right on, and, and Bill, uh, uh, you, you understand uh, exactly what I'm talking about here, and I would suggest that uh, you go to our YouTube, uh, Bobby Likas, and take a look at the video. Uh, I, I watched it this week uh, uh, several times. And it just shows, and I didn't know this, the red shop rags that we used to rent, they, they started out as white rags. They were used in one industry. And then when they got to where they, they couldn't be clean because they had black splotches, they, they dyed them. And I didn't know that. So those rags have a shelf life. And plus, they come from overseas. So the, anyway, there are, there are reason upon reason upon reason. But from a standpoint of environment, from a standpoint of safety, health of a technician, and the customer's clean car, there's no question that Kimberly Clark has the answer. But see, Kimberly Clark is in the protection business anyway. They are a personal protection. That's the very core of Kimberly Clark. 